so I think there's one thing that everyone uh, you know who watches this channel or will see this video can pretty much agree on. I hate, hate, loathe with a passion nuisance callers. Um, literally before doing this video, I literally got uh, a woman asking me had I been involved in a car accident. The last time I had been involved in a car accident, I was six. <laughs> uh, so yeah, haven't been involved involved in the car accident uh, anytime soon. Or well, well, recently, and you know, touch wood, fingers crossed, all that jazz. But the way in which this information is is parcelled out these days, I mean, you've got to be hugely careful. Um, you know, because there's all sorts of companies that are constantly after uh, your information, trying to capture it in some way, shape, or form or another. Now, luckily, legally, these days, all companies all all have to have uh, a box basically saying, um, you know, I do not consent um, to give you for you to give my information out to anybody else, because if you forget to tick that, that could literally be a cascade. <laughs> literally a cascade of um, of nonsense because one company could then pass it on to another company this company then knows you didn't tick that box so your number could then just go woo to out to seven or eight nine ten you know hundreds of companies and then there are companies out there specifically that own and buy lists with your contact information on and they buy and sell this information this is how they this is how they operate and they make hundreds of thousands of pounds a year doing this and it it's it boggles my mind but you will get constant uses calls now the big question is is how do you do it? Well, the first question, first thing is, is be very, very select to who you give your information out to, where you put it out to. Be even careful about, um, you know, putting your number out available online because some of these companies that operate have a bot scanning uh, programs which will scan the internet for your uh, for mobile phone numbers. <laughs> so be really careful and same for um, if you're filling out something remember to tick that box do not I do not want my information shared with another you know another company so what do you do then if you're receiving nuisance phone calls well none of them are instantaneous none of them if you and you know start doing them you will get like an overnight result like your nonsense calls will end instantly um, that's not going to happen. Everything on you know, on this list is um, you know, will take time to kick in. So the first and the biggie um, is get preferential number. Now you have to pay for this. So um, I mention this first because you know the the, the the other idea I have. There are others that you can do, um, but. The, this one and the other one, this one's you have to pay for, the next one you have to do is free. And then I'll tell you another one, which one guy did, which I find quite funny. Um, so what you do is, again, you can phone up, you know, preferential talent phone service. And this takes about a month for it to filter out. But essentially after that time, if you get any nuisance callers, you can then phone up, um, you know, who you got your... Uh, preferential you know service from and you can then report that number and then they will end up being fined for it now the other one is basically this and it's a free way of doing it however you will still get nuisance calls from time to time but it will drastically lower your um your your phone calls from these people so when you receive this phone call and they say who they are what are we doing don't say anything else, just say this. Please remove my information from your system now, please. 
and just say that and if they say anything else just say please remove my please remove my information from your system now please now it's very important that you say now because if you don't then what they will do is they will just uh, say that your you know your number isn't interested in this product and then they will move it on to another one onto a, essentially another list so it's very important that you say please remove my information from your system now please because they've got to by law do it so remember that and now this is one well you could potentially do but uh, I don't know how successfully um, you know you would start to doing it but this was quite a funny story uh, that was uh, around uh, a couple of months ago. So a guy had been getting nuisance calls. So what he did was he basically said, the next time you call me, I will charge you for my time. And he made a note who was calling him, what company they worked for, and of course he racked up the things and at the end of the month he sent a bill to these companies. And he'd racked up about uh, 200, 200 pounds, something like that, which is a lot of money if you think about it. And they didn't pay. He sent another uh, notice telling them if he didn't pay, he would take them to small claims courts. And of course, these, the amount had gone up. Um, so what happened? He took them to small claims court and he won. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, um, this guy now doesn't get to, to many nonsense phone callers but <laughs> it's something potentially you could uh, look into doing if you really want to I mean you can look up his story online um, but yeah nuisance phone callers are at the absolute worst and they are just incredibly annoying <laughs>